TJ Dillashaw's unique and unrivaled skill set makes him a UFC must watch. Building on an NCAA Division I wrestling background, Dillashaw added highlight reel knockouts to his skill set after teaming up with Muay Thai guru Dwayne Ludwig. The former bantamweight champ breaks down some of his most devastating techniques in Signature Series. TJ Dillashaw! My fighting style, it's very unorthodox. This kid is something special. It's the way he moves. And has evolved over the years of uh, me being an MMA fighter. Starting out as a wrestler. Dillashaw just very impressed with his grappling skills. Learning to use that wrestling to my advantage of be becoming a striker. He looks like a pro kickboxer and he comes from a wrestling background. Dillashaw has changed his style to bang Muay Thai. <laughs> when Dwayne Ludwig became my head coach, it really developed my striking to be comfortable and be able to fight in both stances. Nice, which is good pulls. We kind of broke the mold when we started creating the movement we did. TJ's movement is excellent under the tutelage of Bang Ludwig. Another right hand, he clipped him again. Oh, that's it! Dillashaw, just a different level, man. I'm TJ Dillashaw, and this is my signature series. First move, the switch. When I say the switch, it is switching from one stance to the next. If I'm an orthodox stance, my right leg is back, my right hand is back. You hit your feet and switch really fast. Use that momentum of coming forward and switch to southpaw. I'm using it to get a new angle, getting yourself off the tracks, getting your foot outside and confusing your opponent. What I love about the switch is disguising techniques. Hiding switch kicks. Switching of directions there and landing that kick. Hiding takedowns. Look at that beautiful takedown by TJ. I like to have four, five, six, seven different finishes to the same switch. Dillashaw looking to finish his fight! One of my favorite combos I've hit in a fight is when I knocked out Joe Soto. Here we go! I hit a combo, ripped the liver, which is a body shot, and as I did that, I got outside of his power, switching my stance, and then right back on him from the southpaw stance, cross, hook, cross, and after that cross, I stepped forward again into my orthodox stance, and I was able to cut him off with my power right head kick to finish the fight. Setting up this combination, and there, boom, there's the head kick. Beautiful job by TJ Dillashaw. Next up is the right hook. Because MMA is so much of a further distance than boxing, my right hook comes more from a longer range kickboxing style. Power from my right hook comes from rotation and core strength. I bring that rear hip, and as it lands, I want to follow all the way through. I like to get my head off the tracks, off the center line. I like to have my foot outside most of the time. But if I could be hitting a drag step where I'm coming inside his stance, I can even hit like a split step where I step my front foot back as I'm hitting my right hook. So different times in different foot placement for every situation. A great setup to throw your right hook, no matter the stance you're in, is throwing a lot of straight punches. Get them to start thinking you're punching down the middle and then reach around to come around the corner. Oh, beautiful right hook there. Throwing that right hook and looking for the finish, you gotta go for the chin. Hit them on the button right in the end of the chin. Get that whiplash in their neck and shut the lights out. The Cody Garbrandt fight, when I finished him in Madison Square Garden, Garbrandt was coming at me. I'd step off to my left, kept my left hand high, because I knew he was going to throw the right hand at the same time, and beat him to the punch at a better angle. His eyes roll back in the back of his head as soon as I landed it, being on the button. Fancy footwork and a lead right hook. Finally, the left head kick. I like to throw my left kick so often because I'm so accurate with it, and it lands. Head kick landed flush. When you got a weapon that's working, you keep using it. TJ throwing a lot of kicks. I could do it from my orthodox stance, and it's a switch head kick. Oh, we caught him with a head kick! I could do it from southpaw, where it's more of my power. Mixing it up, southpaw and orthodox. Having more than one way to set it up is the way you're going to get good at a left head kick. Wow! Range is very important in being in that sweet spot. If I'm fighting an orthodox fighter, I need to make sure I'm stepping off to my right. 
generates more power into my kick, opens my hips up even more. And then when I lean, I'm out of the way of any kind of offense he has, and I'm stepping further away. I'm getting him to follow me down to his left. He brings his hands down, brings his eyes away from the target, sets up that win. He's doing a great job of feinting, disguising his movement. Fights like Easy Tomorrow that I knocked him out cold with my left kick. Look how he's looking down, look down, kick high. Hugo Viana, I clipped a left head kick to be able to finish him with the right hand. Caught him with the right hand. He caught him with a kick just before that. Great diversion for uh, hitting your left head kick is getting someone comfortable with your jab. Throw my jab, let him parry it. Then I'm going to use that to my advantage. Next time, I'll move my jab a little bit lower, like I'm jabbing his chest. Now as he goes to parry that jab, his hand comes down even lower. And now it gives me that split second to hit my switch left kick kick at the same time. The fight where I best utilized my left kick would probably be against Hinnom Barrow, the first fight. For the UFC Bantamweight Championship. I landed it so many times. Kick over the top and another one behind it. Again, I use my hands as the diversion to get his hands away from his face and use it for follow up with that left head kick. Oh! He tagged him again! It was there all night. It was one of those tools I just kept using because I kept landing it. There's the kick again. I'll always remember the Hinnom Barrow fight because that's what won me that world title, put my name on the map. Looking for the finish! It is all over! TJ Dillashaw is the new UFC Bantamweight Champion! I'm TJ Dillashaw, and that was my signature series.